Welcome. Thank you for choosing to listen to another faith-building message by Pastor David Entry. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God. May your knowledge of Jesus Christ increase as you listen. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to receive your miracle healing, ways to tap into your healing. Number one, I said it takes a, a revelation, not ordinary revelation, but it's more, more about a breakthrough of revelation. Bam, wow. Breakthrough. It said Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8, then your light shall break forth. All right. So then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. Hallelujah. So your light will break forth, break forth of revelation, break forth of revelation will bring you your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So revelation is, in, is necessary. Revelation is necessary and revelation not in anything, but revelation, not information, revelation. Okay. Now, sometimes you might, some of us know the stories of the Bible, but you don't know the mysteries. Is the mysteries that are revealed to you? The Bible says that that by uh, I, I will all I will make all men see the fellowship. Ephesians chapter three verse eight. That I will make all men to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery amongst the Gentiles. The fellowship of this mystery, which is the uh, which in the beginning of uh, to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery, which in the beginning. Watch this. From the beginning of the ages has been hid in God. Who God has hidden some things inside himself. Now, a man has been called to make all men see what has been hidden inside God. So God, when he created the world, he hid some things in himself. And he's going to pull it out. But it doesn't, it's not him. He sends a servant to bring it out, revelation. So your level of revelation is what determines your level, your level of covenant enjoyment and divine divine relief i see you enjoying divine relief in the name of jesus christ so Amen. it's important to understand not just the bible just reading or theology but insight watch this when you read the bible what do you get from it so long as your healing is concerned i need you to understand these things okay now the bible uh, how many <laughs> Uh, how many of you have, have heard about God sick before? God is sick. Today God That's couldn't far. do anything because he, 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 he is sick. <laughs> can you imagine? How, can God be sick? <laughs> God can you imagine Jesus Christ? <laughs> when Jesus Christ was on the earth, one day he was so, so tired, he was lying on the bed and Jesus was sick. Hey. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> today he's not feeling well at all. He's, I've got he's, a flu. <laughs> I've got a flu. Jesus has got a flu. He's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I heard the story of John G. Lake laying hands on people. He was laying hands on people, laying hands on people. And they told him, this is dangerous. Don't be touching people. You will contract it because it's very contagious. He said, no, 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 no. It can't, it can't happen to me. And he was help, helping even bury the dead or something like that. Because a lot of his church members, it looks like something like that. I've forgotten the whole story. So they, so they took, the, he said, no, it can't touch me. When it, whatever virus it is, once it touches me, it dies. And so they, they did an experiment. So put some of the virus, when it touches him, they look at it with the microscope. And they see the virus dying on his skin. It touches, then he dies. The power inside him was too strong for the virus outside him to survive. Power. This, this is, these are real stories. Yeah. Man of faith. So can you imagine Jesus is not feeling well? Jesus is sick. No. <laughs> Pastor, why are you saying that? There is an element of the divine nature inside you. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. He said, he has given us these promises. The, the promises are the God's word. By which we, he said, by which he has given us, uh, given to us exceedingly great and precious what promises. The promises are his word. That through these promises, we might be partakers of the divine nature. So when you, we say read Daniel, you don't be reading it as, oh, I don't read it too long. You are actually... As you read it and you expose yourself to it, you are allowing 
aspects of their divine nature to be birthed and begin to grow in you or to be induced into you. The divine nature, the divine nature is growing in somebody. As you expose yourself to the pure word of God, the divine nature is growing in you. And when the divine nature grows in you, other, other foreign natures will diminish. There are certain types of sicknesses that can survive the presence of God. Man, no sickness survives the presence. So the more you have the presence of God, the presence of God, just like in the book of Psalm, I think Psalm 96 or 7 or somewhere there, it says, in his presence, mountains and hills, they melt away like wax. It said, hills melt away. They melt away like wax when the presence of God comes. Can you imagine? So wax, when you put, he, you, yeah, yeah, it's 97 instead. Said The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord, uh, the God of the, the Lord of the whole earth. Mountains melt away. Mountains connote your challenges and your problem. When you expose, that's why I don't understand when you can make it for encounter first and you are just relaxing somewhere. The situation you are in, you need more of the presence of God so that his, the constant presence is called the Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory. When the Shekinah glory manifests on your life, there are certain things that can never stay, cohabit your body with the, or your, your, your body with the Shekinah glory. So just be, being in the presence of God causes some things to begin to vanish and melt out of your life. Haven't you heard several testimonies? People said, I, the, I used to have this headache, this pain, this problem, and it went, I even forgot. It was later I, I realized, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I, th I even forgot I had it. It has melted away. It has vanished. It has lost its credibility so much that you've moved on even re forgetting that this thing used to be there. I used to have some extra years ago, strong pains in my, uh, I think in my leg, one of my legs. They said it's erratic. Strong pains. They gave me some uh, medication or some, uh, some, you know, some of the English have funny names. <laughs> and they didn't work. But I got myself busy packing church equipment. That's one of my hobby, doing church work. Not the preaching. No. Some of you, you only want to preach and sing to be seen. Do the work. The real work is not the singing. The real work is not the preaching. Where you are on the stage and everybody is listening to you. Some people, that's what they like. It's the flesh loves to be seen. That, there's a pharisaic nature in every one of us. Ah. The real work is when you are, sometimes no one will even see you to clap for you. Mm. You are committed. I, I love it. Let me see the amount of work I even do to make sure everything's are always changing and getting better for us. When we when we when we had service, we were packing equipment. I was the one who packed more before all others came in to join me. My car was was like a van. It was Ford Very Focus, but it's a van. Some of you, your car is so precious. You don't even you don't put anything about God in it. My van, it and my house from the, for the past uh over about 18 years, there's never a time my house doesn't have church material, church stuff. I thank God for my wife. My house has always shared church equipment with us. <laughs> right now, yeah. My house is not a normal house. No. It's equipment, it's still equipment upon equipment. Huge, some of the huge speakers, some are in storage. And this are in my house regularly. It's not that. Pastor, but you have allowed it. Ah, where else should we go? As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. I mean it when I said it. I mean it when I, I mean, we shall serve the so Lord. Yes. <laughs> it, the, ah, my building is a mission house. My yes. house is mission's house. Yes, yes. My wife will tell you, when we are looking for our house to buy, years ago, one of the conditions is a house that has a place like this. So we were, when we were buying our house, many, many years ago, before our children were even born, we had this place, a place where I can, I can sit and do Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I thank God for my wife. So, so it, is, it was just a necessary part of the search. A place where I can do God's work. And then in our previous house, I, I'm even talking about kingdom commitment. That's the, the next point I was going to talk about. In our previous house, 
in our previous house, in the living room, when you come in, you see those times the church was very small. Caris was small, local church somewhere. And Pastor Joshua remembers. And when you come, packed equipments have been packed in our living room. Our living room. Equipments upon the speakers upon speakers. So before you say, oh God, this man, I want to be, please go get your own speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't envy me. I have been sold out for God from my youth. Anyone who knew me from my secondary school days would tell you, Pastor Kwabna is here. He's one of the fruits of my labors in the Lord from about 30 years ago when I was in secondary school. You have finished secondary school, you have finished college, you have finished university, and even prayer meetings, it's like they are pulling strand of hair from your nose. Just come here on prayer meetings, it's like you are doing somebody a favor. Stay at home, stay at home, just go, go, <laughs> go, <laughs> go. What you are doing today is going to be history very soon. Wow, wow. wow. And God will, God will remember your history when it's time to bless you. Wow. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. I receive it. Yeah, that, I used to tell those people who used to say, help pack the equipment, do it because we might never do all this thing all the time. Times will come where it will be necessary again. Yeah, you said some it. Some of us, this is the time you can do some things, share some links and do some things because time is coming, it will not be needed. Yep. A time is coming, we won't need a place to put equipment. It's, it's not necessary because we have huge warehouse, a huge, it is not needed. Yeah. You church building and with your adjoining warehouses and stuff like that. If you're serving the children's department, this is, you, those of you who don't send your children to uh, school, Sunday school, you, at time you come, they'll be out of uh, the house and what you have put in them will begin to show. When you love God and you keep his word inside you, you become a bona fide partaker of the divine nature. It's in the word of God. And number two, the word of God is also like medicine. I quoted it the other time, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. Attend to my ways. Give attention to my ways. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Incline your ears to it. For they are, they are life to all those find them and health to all their flesh. Health. Some other translations say they are medicine. Mm. Yes. Some other translations say the word of God is medicine to your flesh. It's medicine. So as you give yourself to the word of God, the word of God, this, uh, this uh, is a medicine bottle. It's God's medicine bottle. God's medicine bottle. As you go to it and you, f you imbibe it, you are receiving the nature of God into you. And you are receiving the medicine of God into you. And the word of God is creative. God said, let there be and there was. So once the word of God enters you, God's creative power is entering you. The word of God has... I, 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 let me put it this way. I think that's... Uh, uh, let me put it... Uh, uh, God, the word of God has surgical powers. It can do, it can perform surgery on you. How? Pastor said, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, he said, the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. So, or two-edged knife. So, whatever knife they use to cut you, to take a, the word of God can do that. It can cut you and put, didn't God cut Adam, put Adam to sleep, cut him, perform surgery, and brought out his wife? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, God can do surgery through his word. <laughs> he can do surgery through his word. That's uh, problem so you can't sleep. And it's, anytime you sleep, it's like someone has thrown you from space. And you're ah, every time. And you wake up, ah. You need some Holy Ghost word surgery to remove that satanic harassment from your life. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody amen. shout amen. 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 So you, that's why you need revelation into God's word because God's word is loaded with God's nature. It's loaded with God's power. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word is God. If you get to God's word and you imbibe and receive the word, he said, receive you, I pray you, his word. As you receive his word, as you receive his word, your story is changing. And then number two, ah, kingdom service. Let me go to kingdom. I was going to go on the other one, but let me go to, because I've already started talking about kingdom service. One of the ways to keep fit and to retain your health, your healing and wholeness, mm -hmm. to enjoy health, healing and wholeness from God is um, a God first lifestyle. Mm -hmm. A God first lifestyle. Three years ago, we had 365 days of daily services. And I was there every day. 
any day, uh, the only times I was not there is some pastor friend of mine just have, have put pressure on me. They needed me to preach for them a day or two. So I had to be preaching somewhere, which I normally don't do because this is my church. I don't like to be anywhere when we have service. Mm -hmm. But sometimes because God has an assignment for you, you, you might have to go somewhere at least, but not on a Sunday. Sunday, I'm talking about when we're having physical service. I don't go anywhere on Sunday. When we have carriage service, carriage church, why would leave carriage church? No, I won't do it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's so important to understand that our kingdom service will change. Bible says in Exodus chapter uh, 23, verse 25, it said, you shall serve the Lord and he will bless your food. And you, watch this. You shall, you shall serve the Lord your God. And then he will also do something. But you are not serving, but you expect him to do it. Ah, you see this kind of Santa Claus, Father Christmas kind of God that religious people have presented to people, it's not, it's, it's not the real God we're talking about. The real God, the real God, when he wants to bless you, he will leave you with a responsibility. Yeah, that's why sometimes in, if you need critical A and E service from God, A and E service, if you need an A and E service from God, he will even just give it to you. You have to bring your faith. You have to just believe so you can get it. If you have not believed, forget it. He said, for without faith, it's impossible to please God. And whoever comes to God must. It's a necessary requirement. It's a necessary condition. It's a necessary requirement for you to come to. Whoever comes to God, for he who comes to God must believe. Other than that, for, don't bother coming. You, be, you, you come believing. Abraham Bible said he be, against hope believed in hope. He believed in God, whom, Bible says, Romans chapter 4, uh, verse 17, in God, whom, in whom he believed. Okay, against so, no, no, uh, the, the, I think the verse, verse uh, uh, no, who quickens that? Yeah, that's the one, verse 17. Is, was, yeah, as is written, I made you find out many, before him, whom Abraham believed, he believed before God, even God who quickens the dead and gives life to the things that be not as though they were. Abraham believed. Be, his, his testimony was believed. The Bible says that he believed and it was accounted, I think the verse 22, 23, 22, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Therefore, it was accounted to him that you don't have to behave. Your believing, so long as God is concerned, summarizes your behavior. So long as heaven is concerned, belief is the behavior they are looking for. Heaven is looking for. Belief. Wow. Belief. Wow. Wow. So it's righteous. Righteous is the right standing. And right standing that comes through right doing. Not normally, you have ticked the boxes. But God said, I don't have any box. If you believe, it has ticked all boxes. It was accounted to him. It was credited to him for righteousness. Genesis chapter 15, verse, verse 6. It was credited to him. And, and he believed in the Lord. And God accounted it to him for righteousness righteousness you don't have to do anything exceptionally powerful no it's not necessary because peter said it is not this man in acts chapter um, 3 verse 14 this man has not been healed but don't look at us as though the pastor is so powerful so Peter, men in Israel, why do you marvel at us, or why look at us as though it was an old, uh, yeah, as though it is by our own power or godliness? I've been so good that God is now using me. No, no, it's not the goodness, but it says that it is. They said, but it is faith in His name. So that is why we preach a bit. Then he told them, it is faith in his name that has sealed this man, not the fact that we are so good. Daniel told King Nebuchadnezzar, it's not me. It's not that I'm so good in myself, but it's God who reveals it. God is at work. God, verse 30, God is at work. Verse 30, it says that, but as for me, the secret has not been revealed to me because I have more wisdom than, other, any, uh, than anyone living. It's not so much exceptional, but there is something that your faith in God will procure, provoke, provoke over your life. Hallelujah. So it's your faith. That Daniel says it's not me. 
Abraham, his behavior, oh sorry, his believing was accounted to him for right behavior. Ah! Right behavior. He's believing. And so, when you have faith in God, you will, you will organize your life and conduct your life in a certain way. Now, to, it says that you, so God does not bless arbitrarily. Please remember this. He doesn't bless arbitrarily. Specific blessings have address on them. There is something that is, uh, theologians call the general benevolence of God. General be or beneficent blessings of God, the beneficent goodness of God, the love of God. It means that when the rain is shining and you know uh, God is protecting all of us, uh, that's God. God. That why uh, you don't have to be in church for you to enjoy that. Do you have to be in church to pass an exam? No. Oh. You don't have to be in church. You don't have to be in church, okay, uh, to pass an exam. People who are not in church are passing exam. People who are not in church are being healed. Are receiving uh, remember doctors treat sicknesses doctors don't heal they treat diseases yeah. are being treated and they are getting their healing okay so healing is not that's why some people don't see the point what do I no problem you keep going when the doctors tell you that now we can't do anything you'll be looking for encounter first but hey. it might not continue always well, watch the YouTube video. Yeah, well, sometimes when you post all uh, oh, these things I don't believe it I don't it doesn't bother me because you won't believe until you need one you will not believe in miracle until you need one. When you need your miracle, you believe in miracle. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, 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 God, he says that, see yet a man who is diligent, uh, who looks into the perfect law of liberty. And this one is not forgetful here. He said, this man shall be blessed in all he does. But he's a doer of the work. James chapter 125. He's a doer of the work thereof you see a doer of the work this man the one who is doing the work shall be blessed jesus in matthew chapter 5 blessed are the poor in spirit for they shall blessed so blessings not be the that my carous blessing the target i've taught a message on the blessing of god actually then that, that my carous blessing you have to do something to provoke it you have to do something to provoke it. and now watch this he says that you shall serve the oh you shall serve the lord and he shall bless your food and your he shall bless your food and your water and what what will he, what else will he do he will take away sicknesses hey, someone who is very active in the things of god eh? if you are active in the things of god and anytime sickness attacks you god use this scripture mm, wow. use this scripture. god i'm serving you you said in your word you serve in your in your word. I shall serve the Lord, and you bless my food and, and drink, and you take away sickness. I I, I can't I, I I can't retain this sickness. I believe in you. Your word is true. I believe in you. Your word is true. Yes, 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 yes. Some yes. people don't bother serving the Lord. In I think Isaiah chapter forty-two verse one, it talks about God, the servant of the Lord. Isaiah chapter forty-two verse one. He says that, behold, my servant who, whom I uphold, my elect one in whom my soul delighted. You are not a servant. And you want God's soul to delight in you. My servant in whom my soul. See, so when you serve the Lord, you, pro, you, you, you provoke God's attention in a very unique way. Can I advise you? Do not let anybody talk you out of being a God first person. You are having a God first lifestyle, a kingdom dedicated, kingdom addicted lifestyle. You seek first the kingdom. You, you seek first the kingdom. You, you seek first the kingdom. Mrs. Osayamo, are you getting what I'm saying? You seek first the kingdom. You seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. First the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. One of the things that has kept me going and healthy. It's because I'm so buried. 365 days of prayer. There was no one day I, was, I wasn't able to make it because I was sick. And every day I was preaching. 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 Every day, church, 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 up and down. Church, church, church. God. God. Whenever people have been in this church 17 years, there was no one day someone came to church and pastor couldn't make it because he was not well. I am, I am, I am too busy working for God. Oh, 
Mm. Yes. Yeah. When you are committed to his kingdom, he is committed to your well-being. No, be no, committed to his kingdom, he will be committed to your well-being, to your children, to your family. I have been young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous oh, forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. I, I my children, I live with my children. They know I'm committed. Let me tell you something. January, we started for January fasting every evening meeting, every evening meeting. And before the meeting, much of my time is taken because I'm always trying to prepare and get myself in a, in a mood so God can flow through me. Yeah. So they, we live in the house, but they don't get much of me. Mm. They don't get much of me because every evening we don't have it like every evening there's something every evening there so but my daughter was telling my my wife the other time she's looking forward to when the uh, the f uh, fasting is over and my wife promised that when the fasting is over we will, we will do some stuff because from december because of christmas and new year's eve there's always back to back back to back we are busy church work ch back to, we've been always busy the other time i told my wife i think i want to just do something nice for my 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 my, my children yeah. because if yeah. so, if you bless me somebody bless me those of you let's say you bless me with um, some money i feel my children have also paid the price for me to serve people for someone to bless me they have paid a lot of price my children my wife so my wife said we will have some time don't worry let it will be over very soon and that before fasting was over before I announced it, I just knew in my spirit that God is leading us. It looks like we have to continue on this thing and count up first. And I went and told my wife. And my wife has never said no. That you can't, you, no, no, no. God must know we have family time. <laughs> God must know we have family time. <laughs> you, some of you young men, you want to do ministry. The kind of woman you are going for. Hey, I, I'm sorry uh, for you. Uh, yeah, he uh, doesn't uh, like uh, things uh, of church uh, at all. Uh, uh, you yes. want to do ministry. Some of you ladies, you really want to do ministry. The kind of man you are going for. Hey. Even when he hears preaching, he uh, is, is upset. Every wow. time has something negative to say about pastors. Every hey. time something negative about church, something negative about pastor. Is that the guy you want to marry? I think you should pray. Oh. Mm. I think you should pray. He needs an encounter uh, else. Look for someone else. Yeah, yeah. You need so. That. So my wife kept encouraging. Then I went and told her, God is saying, oh, I, I feel the leading for us to start Encounter Fest. She said, okay, wow. And it was like she, we were all looking forward to the fasting being over and then relaxing. Relaxing and having some cool times. And then the fasting was over. Ah, another, another, another encounter first. And every evening, evening after evening. Now my office is set in such a way that my daughter can't even join me to do that. that I, I'm busy. You see the way I turn here, then I turn here. And I'm turning all over the place. Then I turn here. That means several cameras. Then I I, I stand like this. I, I'm hey, all hey, over the place. There's hey, no space hey, for my daughter hey, to come here. That, that's no, I am busy. I am busy. I am busy to do that. It comes at a cost. Mm. It comes at a cost. Uh. It comes at a cost. You shall serve the Lord. Kingdom a God first lifestyle. God first lifestyle. God first. It has a way of guaranteeing your health. It has a way of blessing your health. God first lifestyle. One of our pastor's wife, the other time, was telling me uh, after work, he was tired, but the work is very stressful in this day. They are kind of job. And she was leaving work. But she told her colleague that I have service, church service the evening. And the colleague said, Ah, but you have to go. To church, you don't have to go, you have to go and rest. She said, Hey, I have to give God a reason to keep me alive. Wow. Mm. Yep. I have to give him a reason. My service to God gives him a reason to keep me alive. Yeah. It's not my normal nine to five job, but my service to God gives him a reason to keep me alive. Boy, how are you? Mm. How about you? Mm. There is a way you accept, you are dedicated to the things of God. Maybe it might not even be uh, uh, active, uh, uh, active service. God, now Corona 
the pandemic and lockdown, we don't even have physical time. So you have to find every means, look for opportunity to seize any moment to do something for God and commit yeah. commit yourself to it. Don't be doing to be seen, to be applauded. Don't be doing to be seen for power, for post. Look for something. Yeah. Some if you if you are a church leader. Whether carries or not, non carries, there are people who are listening and you are not in carries. And you are a church leader. This pa pandemic lockdown, you have been very useless. There's nothing you are doing for God. Yeah. Useless church leader. No, nothing. No. And you are not worried. You are not worried. You are not worried. You are picking yeah. your teeth and saying, oh, this thing. My friend, it's an emergency. Wow. 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 It's an emergency. Serve the Lord, ye shall serve the Lord, and you will bless your food and bless your drink, your water, and you will take away sickness from the midst of thee. Daniel, 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 servant of the Most High God, has your God whom you serve day and night. He, the king knew that Daniel serves God. He was, God doesn't pay supervisors. Bishop, when people push it this way, God does not pay supervisors. He pays laborers. He pays he pays laborers. He pays laborers. For mm. God is not unrighteous to forget your labor. It's not your relaxation. He for not what you know. Not mm. what you know. Not what you know. He rewards what you do for his work. There are people who have a be they want to be pastors, and the motivation is because it looks like when you're a pastor, you everybody's listening to you, and people say, Oh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. That's what is attracting you. That's what is attracting you to the office, but not service. Mm. That's why any little thing you do in church, you want you, you want to be acknowledged. If not that, you want to be paid. Wow. It's so it's, it's highest level of madness, spiritual madness, to do anything for God and demand men to pay you instantly. You have to pay me. It's like someone invites me to go and preach in their church. And I, in fact, yeah, recently I was invited. Something happens, and the pastors, because many pastors are, have come into contact with all kinds of type, all types of pastors, sometimes they invite you, they ask you, what are your charges? <laughs> wow. Charges? Hey, if you like, don't give me anything. Just give me opportunity to serve people. Ah. Serve the Lord. Hey, uh, charges? Charges? How? 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 Dead body. Hey. Oh, about my dead body oh. to charge before I preach to charge to preach oh, about my dead body. Oh, oh, don't you see the way I'm enjoying this thing, <laughs> brothers and sisters? Don't you <laughs> see the way I'm enjoying this thing? You don't have to pay me. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Hey, serve the Lord. 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 Young man, young woman. Serve the Lord. What you are doing now is becoming history immediately. And your, your history will be referred to when it's time for you to be blessed. What do you have in your past? What equity have you got? You are busy trying to raise your children to be great. There are some, some levels of greatness is given from above. Hey, some things are given from above. From above. Given from Oh God, told Solomon, Solomon, I, I would have taken the kingdom from you, but because of your father David, I have to keep the kingdom in your, in your house. I have to. And he said, even when you die, I will take the kingdom, but because of David, I will still keep some. David's work with God. Mom, Dad, what price are you paying? What price are you paying? Sometimes you are not careful. You will complain and complain and complain about church that you will even serve what God, serve in the capacity God has called you to. Wow. And every one of us is dying. Yeah. Normally Africans, we don't like to say, hear that. <laughs> you are dying. <laughs> you are dying. Because an appointment, death is an appointment. Yeah. Not now, yo, no, no, you won't die now. No, no, no. Amen. I won't Amen. die now. <laughs> you, won't, uh, uh, you won't die now. Hey, no way. Yeah. I, re I, re I refuse. I refuse you to die. You yeah. won't die now. Yeah. There is a lot of con uh, the land territories to be taken for the kingdom. Yeah. You will do the work of God. I will I die. not die, but I will live to declare the works yeah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 
serve the Lord. So ways to walk in health, healing, <coughs> excuse me, and wholeness. Revelation, kingdom priority, lifestyle. God first lifestyle. Kingdom addiction lifestyle. I see God blessing somebody. Amen. I, I see God favoring, favoring somebody. I am here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. To hear more from David Entry, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Karis Church and subscribe to our podcast so you are always up to date. Be blessed.